Welcome back to House of Rome. My name is Manuel. All right, today I'm gonna talk about two different fragrances. One of them was uh, gifted to me for at work, one of those gift exchange, and the other one I found at uh, Marsh, uh, yeah, Marshalls. Stick around, see which one they are. Thank you for sticking around. I hope everybody's having a great, great day. Uh, I know I am uh, having an awesome day. Feel very, very blessed to be alive. But again, I'm gonna speak about two different fragrances. The first one I'm gonna talk about. I was not, I'm not a big fan of this house. I guess from the original one. I tried to, to I guess, get the feel of it. But I don't know, I just said, I just can't. And uh, I, I constantly smell it there at uh, Drug and Pouring when I go. And uh, I'm talking about from the house of Isi Miyake. And this one, this is one I, I received as a Christmas gift. It's the Isi Miyake Nui DC. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Probably chopping it all up. But again, I, I'm not a big fan of Isi Miyake, but when I smell this one, man. Very, very nice. Totally different from that other one. And uh, and so, again, it just, I, I've tried the original one, Isi Miyake, I just can't get into it. I've, I tried it time after time and I tell them, you know, can I get, can I smell it? Can I smell it, you know? And, uh, but this one, I've, I've seen it there and they, they got it right there next to, you know, side by side there at the uh, Drug Emporium. And so, I've seen it, but since I smelled the original, you know, this is the, 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 the flanker of it. So it's gonna have a little bit of DNA, D, DNA of the other one. So I was like, not really feeling it. I didn't even want to try to smell it because I would smell the original one. Man, I know I was missing out big time. So this one, again, this is the one I was given uh, to me from a coworker at work. I appreciate it, Gerald. Uh, I appreciate it, thank you so much. This one, the notes in this one has bergamot, grapefruit, leather, woody notes, spices, black pepper, ver vetiver, incense, ebony tree, tonka bee, and patchouli. Again, the first, uh, when I smelt it, I ain't gonna lie, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, man, you know. But when I opened it up and uh, started smelling it, nice, very, very nice. I usually have my, my phone the other way around. But again, it's very, very nice. That that grape, you can smell off the you know, top, the, the, the bergamot and the grapefruit, the citrus notes. Very, very nice. It goes down to a woody scent, the woody, right now the woody scents, the woody smell is, is in the background, but it introduces itself more and more throughout the, you know, as it dries down. Very, very nice. That tonka bean and the, Gives it a good, good, beautiful scent, kind of like a sweet scent. It's just very, very, very nice. The leather is very, very faint. You can barely smell it. I guess the, the wood notes really overpower it a little bit, but it's it's like saying it, like it, leather notes in the background saying, yeah, hey, I'm over here. <laughs> and uh, so that's why I see it when you smell it. Very, very beautiful, very, very nice, especially for right now. Right now, it's beautiful, it goes wonderfully. Might have to take this one for, for the Christmas one. We'll see. We'll see. It's just still up there in, in, in the air. I had a viewer ask me, man, do you decide what you want for Christmas? I, honestly, I haven't. It's just, just so hard, you know. And I, I want to get this one. I want to try that one. And, but again, I just got to go by what the weather's going to be like that day, you know. It just changes so much, especially here in Texas. Very, very nice. Beautiful, beautiful scent. I appreciate it again, Gerald. Thank you so much. I love this. The next one. The next one is a cheapie. I've talked about this house before. It's a flanker from from, uh, from this house that I'm gonna speak about that I, I did a whole video over this whole house that I had from, you know, in my collection. And I'm talking about the house of black is black. Black is black. So this one is called After Dark. Black is black, After Dark. 
Yeah, these are little cheapy $10 fragrances. But I've never seen this one before, so I thought it was maybe just, you know, like they changed the, the outside of it or decoration from the original one. But I looked it up and it's, 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 it's totally different. It's a, you know, different flanker from it. This one contains three notes. Bergamot, cedar, and sage. <sighs> very, very nice. Very citrusy. It just, you know, I haven't seen how, I haven't tried how, how, how long it lasts. Well, I wore it probably about once. And so I just like, you know, sprayed it on myself just, you know, running outside, you know, uh, I think we were going to go to the store to buy something, me and my wife, and, and I just sprayed it on real good, I mean, real quick, and I probably did like three or four sprays and it just took off. But it's very, very beautiful. It has, it has, a, it has a, like a, it's a youthful scent. Very, very nice, very playful. Very, very playful. It's good, it's gonna be good when during the summertime when it's nice and hot. It's just, it's just beautiful. And I've seen people say they get compared to, uh, they compared it to uh, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. I guess you can t you think it almost a little bit. Let's find out, I got it right here. This is one of my favorite ones. I spoke about this plenty of times where a lot of people talk bad about it, but I've, I've, speak, I've experienced positive stuff from it. Get a good spray. Oh no. It's almost in that, in that same type of, you know, it's trying to play in the same type of playground, but This was the, the, the Mont Blanc is a little bit more brighter, it's a little bit more, more, I guess the quality of it, a little bit better than, than, than black is black. Because you know, by the price range, you can you know, tell the difference also. This one is the, the black, I mean the Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. It's more citrusy, it's more bright, more, more vibrant, more in I'm here. This one, it's 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 a citrusy scent, but it's very little bit lighter. It's not as loud, or it's not as trying to be more, uh, more like you know, in your face or, or or shouting, saying that I'm here, I'm here. This one does. This is my one of my favorite ones. This one's still citrusy, but not as bright as the other one. Just more calm down. But I, I can tell where they where they trying to pick up on it. Where some they trying to compare it to to the to the Mont Blanc, but to me, this one has more staying power up to right now. This one still, it tends to want to fade away. But again, we're just going off paper, you know. But again, this, this is a very nice, very citrusy scent for newcomers or or even now for Christmas time, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing, you know, it's a good uh, value for the price, 10 bucks. And you know, going probably go a little bit heavy on it. It won't hurt you any, especially being a freshie. And so, ten bucks, you know. I like this. I like this a lot. Again, I, I wore it one time, but it was just like very, very brief. Still, you know, there. Okay, now it's starting to be sort of in, in the same, but again, still this one is a little bit more louder, more more vibrant, more more brighter. This is bright, but a little bit toned down, like more, more mellow. But this one, man, very, very nice. I, I, again, I love this. But again, this, this is very, very nice. Again, for, for someone who's starting now, for for a teenager, you know, just wanna use it for, for any occasion, just overall, very, very nice. Again, I'm talking about black is black after dark. 10 bucks, can't go bad, can't go wrong with that one. So what do y'all think? Did y'all try any of these? Or maybe another Simiyaki that, that y'all can recommend. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Uh, I really enjoy you know, speaking to people and uh, I really appreciate y'all, those who are viewing my, my channel. And uh, 
Again, help me out, spread spread the word, and uh, remember, when you smell good, you feel good, and uh, and you do. You know, sometimes I'll be it'll be days where you know just feel tired, and, and <laughs> my wife trips out because she'll catch me here in the here in my my little room smelling my my, my colognes, you know, and just I love smelling it, and when they smell real, real good, or or if it's nice and cool outside, <laughs> might sound like a little kid, but I run outside and. Or I spray my hand and just smell it out there where it's nice and cold, especially the ones that uh that are like kind of sweet or meant for winter time. I like doing that. It's just something that, that, that brings a smile to my face. So again, it's just something that I enjoy doing. I really enjoy collecting fragrances. I really enjoy spraying myself with fragrances. Very, very nice. I'm excited for Christmas. I don't know what's in store, so we'll see. And I got a special, special guest finna join me real soon. And that'll probably be my next video. It's going to be way down the line. So, y'all stay tuned. Uh, again, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell button. Let you know whenever I post a new video out. And uh, again, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, leave me a comment. See what y'all think. Uh, other than that, you have a great day. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.